Taurus, this is your weekly reading. Let's see what we have for you. Taurus. What do we have for Taurus? Feeling stuck, Taurus? Feeling slowed down by circumstance? Oh, oh, the hangman and the hermit. What's happening in your energy? And I'm getting goosebumps. There is a pause on your energy. There's a pause. Someone hit pause on you, on your life, on your energy. And the reason is introspection. The reason is you need to look inwards. That's why there's a pause in your energy. There's introspection, work to be done inwards or inwardsly. And the physical is on pause. It's spiritual time. And you have to do this alone. It's not something that you do with the assistance of others. This is something that you have to experience alone. This is an, an, a solo experience. Because as a, as a spirit, there are no others. The, the need for others is the physical. The spirit is complete and whole on its own. So there is a need for you to be solo with no distractions of the others or other beings so that you can focus on what is being downloaded into your spirit. And that will have a reflection on your physical and your future partnerships. Wow. This will give you a new perspective in your life. This is a much needed experience. It feels to me this is this is like screaming the dark night of the soul. Taurus, whatever that you will be going through or are going through is something that your spirit needs to deal with energetically. So I see here that you will have to go inwards to find meanings to really deep, deep, deep experiences or deep meanings in the sense where you will have to go inwards and unlock things that are within you so that your spirit can grow. Because I see here you will go inwards and you will go in, in depth in yourself to find that there is a door that's locked and you are ready to unlock that door now because you already reached it you have reached your limits within your spirit and this is happening to you so that you can unlock and go beyond your limitations you are ready now You are ready now to explore the depth of you even more. This will change things in your energy forever. This is something that you will ascend into. This is something that will heal some things or feelings that were oppressed by your ego. So now you are ready to go beyond the ego, to go beyond that locked door, to find what you're meant to find in the depth of your spirit. There will be a lot of emotions and a lot of intense emotions. It feels like the dark night of soul, like everything that I'm saying is is relating to the dark night of soul. There will be intense emotions that you will go through, and that's okay, this is all part of it. 
So these intention emotions will be felt, will be unlocked. You feeling them is you unlocking them. You being in company with those emotions will allow you to go beyond and put a meaning and an understanding behind those emotions. Wow, the star and the high priestess. This is like, you have a lot of um, kind of awakening cards here. The hermit, the high man, the star, the high priestess. This is something that you will go through uh, with the help of spirit. This is something that spirit is telling you, you are ready. You are ready to go to the next level now. But, but, but. Buckle up because it won't be an easy ride. It will be a fucking roller coaster of emotions and that's okay You are ready Don't let those emotions scare you because I know that it can be scary When you hit a brick wall and then you realize there is more on the other side and then you take a brick by brick and those bricks represent emotions and then you have to uncode those emotions to find that there is another side that you can peek through and that will give you motivation to work through it because it's, it's already started so Taurus I see here that uh, you will go through something that will help you ascend to the next level spiritually and this will be highly beneficial for your energy because it will reflect on your physical appearance in the sense where you will feel more confident, where you feel more or less anxious, less stressed out by the physical meaning of this reality. And that is a great thing because that's what's on the other side, behind that brick wall. That's what happens, acceptance, surrender, stronger faith anything else that Taurus needs to know you will gain a lot of wisdom for this or from this you will gain a lot of wisdom from this in ways that you will be able to help others or to extend your wisdom to others where you benefit their energy. You will attract energies that are in need of this experience or in need of this wisdom that you will experience through this uh, dark night of the soul or this uh, continuing awakening because awakenings don't stop. And I see here that something has triggered your awakening. And now you're going through the dark night of the soul, going in the depth of your own self, your spirit, to find more answers. And once you go through it, you will come back much wiser, much more confident to feel connected to the spirit that you come with. like I said you will attract a lot of people and that will put you under the spotlight people will want to hear about what you have experienced people will want to hear about the wisdom or how you gained the wisdom that you are possessing after going through this awakening or the dark night of the soul your energy will become attracting others because you will have those answers that people seek and they will not know why they are attracted to you but they will feel it they will feel the energy pulling them towards you and that's your energy on the other side when you come out on the other side or when you go to the other side of that brick wall that i talked about you will go back to the physical feeling or your aura will expand in the sense where others will feel it even though they don't know anything about you they will feel it and they will be attracted to it Taurus you will be in for a ride 
Will it be worth it? 100%. 100%. Take it from me. I've been through a couple of those. Well, I say couple. <laughs> Not even couple. More than a couple. But uh, it's worth it every time. And even though it can be scary, uncomfortable, guess what? Growth doesn't happen when you are comfortable. Growth happens when you are uncomfortable. Let me pull a card for you from your higher self. Give me a card for Taurus, please. We have play. Play. Self-care includes having fun. Are you playing enough, darling? Do you have enough free time or are you booked to the minute? Life goes by so darn fast. Make sure to have a blast along the way. Play connects us to our childlike curiosity and zest. When life feels too serious, which feels exactly serious here, when life feels too serious, toss aside your to-do list and make room for the stuff that turns you on. Go to the movies, have an adult slumber party, swing at the playground, you're never too old to wee. Let the fun shine in and live a little, or a lot. Taurus, I'll see you soon. 